Hi, I'm Mike Mila. I'm a real estate appraiser, and we're doing a series of videos on tools that we found to be more very make you productive in the field. Today, we're going to be talking about the Disto laser measuring device. Great tool for measuring the outside of the house, and I'll be using the iPad 2 for the field data gathering, the sketching program that's in it. Um, this dot I have on here is what I use to measure, put the dot on when we're in um, unique angles and whatnot. You'll get to see that. Um, but today we're going to mainly focus on the Disto. In a future video we'll get into more detail on the sketching program. Um, so let's get started on the Disto. We're going to measure the front of the building. And as you can see that red dot, that's the, the target. That's where the unit is going to take the measurement from. So you see that red dot, I'll press the button. It's going to give me the measurement. The measurement it's showing is 22.7 is the distance from the corner to here. And then we're going to subtract this area to find that distance. So we'll subtract this equals 14 feet. So it says the front of the building is 14 feet. Now we're going to measure this little cutout here. 6 feet. And across is 8.5. That's the entry. Fifteen feet out. Now you can see if you're using a tool like this, it's really quick and really accurate. The, the, I've been using this for about seven years and it is an excellent tool. Now I'm measuring across the front of the garage. I'm going for the, the brick. Everyone always asks me, how do you hit a target? Well, if you have a little angle, you still get an accurate measurement, and that red dot took us to 29 feet. So I'll use the plus feature. We're going to plus 29 feet, and that's when this dot comes into play. We'll put the unit right here. Put the red dot on the yellow dot. Equals 31 feet. So the front is 31 feet. We go across the side. Now I'm shooting, I don't have anything to hit exactly, I've got a door frame. And the door frame from this distance is 17 feet, so we'll say plus. Again, the yellow dot comes into play, we'll put it against here. And plus equals 21 feet. The side of the garage is 21 feet. Now we're going to go around the, the house and you'll see how quickly you'll be able to measure a house regardless of conditions. Nine feet in. Now I'm going to put the red dot in that corner so you can see there's where we're taking the measurement from. Right there. 23.5. Shows the distance from here to there to be 23.5 feet. feet on this side. So in 13 feet. Now I'll go up on the deck and I'll measure that cutout. Ten feet out. We'll just ten feet. We're going to take this distance and now you have a masonry fireplace, generally they're about six feet, but if you want to measure it to be sure, you can find a mortar joint that's about in the center. Put the dot on the yellow dot. Now we're going to put the unit on that. We're splitting this in half. Twelve feet, now we have this piece. Eighteen point five is the distance. We have these knockouts for the nook. They're generally about two point eight feet. For the sketching program, it takes two point eight. And you can measure the center of this and double it. If you're positive, it's the center. Since it's three point five, so it's fair to say that it's seven. But I'll show you with the plus feature. I can hit the inside of this door and it's seven feet. 
So we'll go seven across and 2.8 in most likely. We'll measure it to be sure. 2.8. This distance is 2.5. And now you can see there's a pop point here. I can connect these two. And that distance should be 45.5 is what it's showing from pop point to pop point. Now you can see the total distance it shows is 2,258 feet on the first level. The tool is, it does an excellent job. You can measure a 3,000 square foot house within a matter of minutes. Highly recommend getting a Disto, and I can talk later to our featured members about how to find these products, where to find them, and get in more depth about how to use them. Thank you.